Okay, the channel system, that one little bitty strawberry is coming back quite nice. It was just a few leaves. It's got the little runner out on it. Everything's looking good. Uh, if you can see the, like that, it's probably getting close to eight inches tall. And these things were just a couple of little bit, the starter leaves pretty much when we put this romaine in this tube system. Uh, so all the romaine is doing quite well. A couple of them are growing a little bit slower, but for the most part, they're all coming up. They've got the red coloration. They're doing good. The butter crunch, the same thing. They've got nice, good, firm leaves on them. New growth coming up through the center like it should be. Uh, looking really good. I mean, really big compared to what it was. It's already, I don't know where those ants are coming from, but it's already caught up to the kale the two kale that I put in here that came as seedlings that were already about six inches tall. Now the kale does have new growth on it uh, and the water is a little deeper on this end. Apparently the spinach and the kale just don't like it quite that deep. Uh, I'm going to put something under them to try to raise them up. I just hadn't got around to it. I've had so much else going on. But the butter crunch has just exploded. Uh, it's a lot bigger considering it's only been a couple weeks. But there is something that's getting in here and eating stuff if you can see this leaf here so i need to find out what's doing that i don't know if it's those ants or what but they, it's killed some of the stuff from one of the other beds but right now this is just the channel system so like i said the spinach just does not seem to be liking this it's still alive it's actually got a little bit of new growth on it but most of the older growth is dying off so i don't know if something has gotten into them or they just don't like the deeper water that's on this end there I've got roots coming out of that one so it's actually progressing this one no no new roots the same is true of that one because I already pulled out into the kale whereas if I pull out one of these say this butter crunch here see all the new roots on that uh, tremendous amount of roots coming out of these plants so I'm thinking the kale and the spinach well that kale's got a lot of new roots on it so it should be fine so maybe the and the new growth on the kale is looking good so maybe just the spinach either doesn't like being as deep as it is in these couple of places here needs to be lifted up or it just doesn't like this kind of a system but the bok choy is doing wonderfully back here if you can see all it it's got really good growth on it the uh, ruby red swiss chard has got good growth on it down there so this whole system is doing well even though this is shaded in the afternoon, this is shaded out in the afternoon, and this stuff in the front being so close doesn't get as much shade until around, or doesn't get much sun until around noon, but it does get full afternoon sun. So it's all doing really good in this tube system. I'm really happy with this design. Uh, I need to thank uh, the guy that gave me this idea, Paul McHugh. Uh, with his, I think he called it a river tunnel, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's where the idea came from. And it's worked really well for lettuces and bok choy. Uh, like I said, when I changed the system up a little bit, it kind of, I didn't realize it, but in going underneath where the piping comes in from the sump, I dipped down. So those center few pots are deeper than the rest. So like over here, the water is a good inch down from the lip whereas over there it's right at the lip or just barely below it so but the tube system is doing great the romaine's looking good uh, another couple weeks we'll be able to start harvesting stuff from this i'm pretty sure so,